All right, well, next time you have a stuffy nose, maybe skip the drugstore decongestant because the FDA says it's basically useless. With an FDA panel now throwing a wrench in the over-the-counter drug market, determining cold medicines containing a key ingredient doesn't actually work and might as well be a placebo pill. That ingredient is in medicines like Mucinex, Benadryl, Sudafed, Robitussin. Those all sound familiar, right? And they may be sitting in your cabinet right now. So as a result, companies may have to pull their drugs off the shelves, although this will not happen immediately. But according to the Consumer Healthcare Products Association, removing these decongestants will have massive impacts across our nation, including decreasing access and availability to over-the-counter medicines and will burden an already strained healthcare system. All right, joining me now is Executive Director of Health and Community Education at Piedmont Health, Dr. Jane Morgan. Uh, Dr. Morgan, thank you so much for your time here. First of all, why is this coming out now? This has been something that really has been an issue since 2016, especially amongst the pharmacists. And data had been presented at that time, and just it has gradually gained momentum. When we look at these studies that were presented from 2016 to currently to today, that is what the FDA Advisory Committee reviewed and really saw that there was really substantial evidence to support that the oral formulation of phenylephrine does not actually have enough active ingredient to really impact efficacy. In other words, it doesn't do what it says that it's going to do. All right, so if it doesn't do what it says it's going to do, in spite of people believing that this works, if it, if it really doesn't, what should everyone do with this type of medication? Because I'm sure you know a lot of people sitting at home right now watching this have this in their medicine cabinets. Does this mean we need to throw it out? And so probably it does. We'll wait and see what the FDA says. This is what the panel is advising. And I want to be clear, the panel actually had a unanimous vote. 16 members of the panel, the vote was 16 to zero. That is not a common occurrence. They also went further to admit that the evidence and the data that was submitted in 1972, I think when this first became an over-the-counter drug, actually was faulty and we also have much better and more rigorous scientific methods now. At issue is actually the mechanism of action of the oral formulation. If you take an oral formulation of this, the, the first pass effect or the uh, ability of the body to metabolize it is so high, the gut and the liver metabolizes phenylephrine to such a degree that very little active compound is actually left to absorb into your bloodstream and actually relieve the decongestion. That's why the nasal formula is still available, but any oral formulation, because the liver and gut degrade it to such a high, high degree, is, is probably going to be removed from the market. So this means, you know, people who've been taking it orally, you know, that means their bodies have, have essentially been fighting off, uh, you know, whatever has been wrong with them on their own. So what should patients who need this type of drug be doing in the interim then? And so pseudoephedrine is an alternate, and pseudoephedrine, even though it's over the counter, is behind the counter, meaning it is available without a prescription, but you have to ask the pharmacist for it. It's behind the counter, and that is because it does have a street value because it can be used to also make meth. And so it is somewhat controlled by asking the pharmacist for it, but it is still available, products that have pseudoephedrine in them. All right, Dr. Jane Morgan, we certainly uh, appreciate your expertise. I have a feeling we will be checking back in with you on this one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.